Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. It's time for two and two, where we're always in the double bonus. Emily and I have two names that we're tracking on the session to keep an eye on as we head into the market close. We're just about 25 minutes out from that. And so, Emily, I'll lead us off here on the day. First up, I got to talk about AMC. Earlier in the session, they were up by over 13%. Right now, they're clinging on to some gains by about 4%, if I'm seeing that correctly. Now, this is on the back of some preliminary quarterly results the company shared this morning, where total revenues for this most recent quarter, uh, that hit approximately $1.17 billion. That's compared to $162.5 million uh, compared to the three months ended December 31st of 2020. And this makes it for their year over two comparison, one of the best quarters that they've seen since 2019. And so that is notable. We're keeping close eye on shares of AMC going into the close. And then UPS, got to talk about this one. We've seen some new highs for UPS here on the day. Shares are up, holding on to about 14% in gains. Fourth quarter, 2021 consolidated revenues, you saw that come in at $27.8 billion, 11.5% increase over the fourth quarter of 2020. And Carol Tomei actually joined Yahoo Finance earlier, the CEO of UPS, saying that these results that they saw are sustainable. So continue to keep a close eye on shares of UPS. With that, I'll toss it on over to you, Emily. Brad, I'm watching shares of ExxonMobil. Now, this company just came out with its biggest annual profit since 2014. It reported earnings results earlier this morning as rising oil prices boosted the energy company's latest results. Now, specifically, those full-year earnings were at an almost eight-year high of $23 billion. And the company also generated $48 billion in cash flow from operations in 2021, or the most since 2012. Now, as a result of this increase in cash flow, ExxonMobil now says it plans to increase the pace of its $10 billion dollar share buyback program, which was previously set to take place over some two-year period. Now, that news is definitely being taken favorably by investors. And ExxonMobil stock at session highs was up by uh, at its highest level since mid-2019, still holding on to gains of more than 6%. Now, switching gears now to talk about shares of Sirius XM. That is another company that just reported quarterly earnings results before market opened today. They were also better than expected on many major metrics. Now, the company brought in revenue of $2.28 billion dollars for its fiscal fourth quarter, which rose 4% over last year and came in ahead of the $2.25 billion that had been expected. Now, in terms of guidance, SiriusXM sees $9 billion in revenue this year, ahead of the $8.9 billion that consensus analysts on Wall Street had been looking for. And SiriusXM also said it will now pay out a special dividend of $0.25 cents a share, with that news of an additional capital return also helping boost the stock this afternoon. Those shares have risen more than 4% so far for the year to date. Currently up about 5.4% during today's session alone. Brad. 